Hello and welcome back to uh, everyone's channel. Um, my name is Daniel and today we're going with Pontus again over to Gold Coast. Uh, we're exploring again the lounge, see what's changed. Um, recently we did Tasmania, uh, but now we're back here to the airport and post and check out the um, same, um, how they improved, and we'll check out everything. Let's head in and check in. It's bright and bustling here at T3 um, with most of um, departures already. I'm just going to head into the T3 terminal, which is probably one of the best terminals uh, here at Sydney Airport because it's really nice, clean, and ordered. Hey. Okay, welcome to T3. Um, I don't think anything has changed since uh, the last month I was here uh, to go to Tasmania. But anyway, um, I still like this whole new terminal. It's not new, but I just like how the terminal is separate from the other um, terminals like Virgin, Rex, and uh, the other airlines. Uh, I think it's really nice that it's separate, uh, more quiet, and it's, it really gives a nice premium experience rather than just uh, having the uh, airlines in one terminal for domestic. Um, there are these self-checkout kiosks just over there. Uh, I'm not going to use that. I'm not sure exactly how that works. So I'll just go over to the service desk. And that makes everything easier. Um, but I'll let you know once for uh, security. Okay, just past security. Um, and now we're going to be heading up to the lounge. I'll see what's new there. Uh, let's hope it's something different compared to last time. And I'll show you everything. Let's go. Security at T3 is probably one of the fastest at Sydney Airport too, and it's great to have that all, most of the shops are already open at such an early time. And now I'm just going to head uh, over to the Qantas Club. Um, let's see if anything has changed since last um, I visited, and I'll discuss group boarding. Looks like they're doing group boarding now, which is a new feature. And, um so we're gonna check that out. There's last time it, they weren't doing that yet. They were just doing it by row. So this should be something interesting. The Qantas Club has a really nice interior with a lot of tables, workstations and really a lot of sunlight and views um, of the planes taking off in tarmac um, which makes it probably one of the best um, clubs. Um, it does have a decent selection of food, um, not different to last time which is a disappointing but it was definitely much fresher than last time really has toasties, pancakes, um, you name it, it has it there. Um, if you think of breakfast, it's, it's a pretty good selection, even like a bar with like, um, coffee, tea, and even juice. Nothing has changed in terms of breakfast service, it's basically all the same, uh, which is quite disappointing. They have a NADOC week, um, has like themed um, food but for me it's like the same that was uh, about a month and a half ago um, so I really think that's really disappointing for Qantas because they're charging for Qantas Club and then they're providing low quality uh, uh, service. Alrighty um, let's try the quality of the food. Um, now yeah, I've got a latte and let's try that. It's a, sorry, not a latte, it's an ice mocha. It's quite early in the morning. Um, so they put some chocolate powder on top and uh, let's try it. That's very bitter. Um, the coffee I make at home is much, um, yeah, that's quite bitter. But, um, it's not bad. Okay. Um, I'm going to try the fruit platter that I cooked out myself. Now, last time the pineapple wasn't fresh. I'm going to start with the watermelon. I don't know. It's, it's not fresh, but it's not stale. It's like in between. I guess it's okay. 
Ich schalte ein paar Lacken. Ich hab schon wenig Lust, ich schalte. That's definitely much better than last time. Okay, okay everyone, uh, just finished up with the lounge, and now we're gonna head up to the gate, uh, I think it's gate 13, uh, but we'll go, and then the lounge is pretty good, um, but it's quite busy now, it's the morning, uh, and it's the holidays, but uh, we'll go now. So unfortunately I'm group 6, which means I bought last, now they're doing group 4, so it should be super. Just now I uh, bought it and going on the jeopardy. I think this new system is not the best, I think it's very chaotic. That's my opinion because they go back to front instead of the front. Um, but anyway, we're now going to... So today's flight is very very full, um, that's why we built the groups, probably does help, um, but now we're going to start push back very soon, because I'm one of the last passengers. I think the legroom is pretty good, uh, like last time the bulkhead seats are really good. Um, I had a big difficulty trying to get these seats, uh, but I think it's worth it. Pushback will start very soon. Before takeoff, ensure your armrest is down, your seat back is upright, and your tray table is stowed. Unplug any cables attached to the seat in front. And if you missed any of this, it's on your safety card in your seat pocket. The crew is here to look after you, so follow their instructions at all times. Great views there from Sydney as always. Um, not sure if you'll see as well, but we're good. Uh, for now, just enjoy the views. First, I'll actually talk about the seat features. So, here we are. So, basically, got the seat cards, the standard magazine, nothing too much. The leg room's really good. Uh, then we've got same thing, basically. Now, 
good feature is the TV. Um, last time I reviewed that there's really not much going on there. It's really hard. Uh, Um, it's not really responsive, but it's not really much for it, but, but I think it's okay for like a one hour flight. Plus there's the, of course there's the standard tray table, which um, they'll get some use, but apart from that, it's not really much for it. Nothing's improved, nothing's changed. Um, honestly, it's kind of disappointing that a premium airline, while he's charging premium fares, is offering not even a like meaty product or some kind of more substantial um, snack. This is more like a dessert. Um, I think really there's no point flying these premium airlines anymore, especially in Australia, because I think Virgin and Jetstar. Um, would be better value for money because Qantas has really deteriorated over the years and um, uh, the purpose of this trip was just to show you if it's changed and my answer is so far nothing's changed um, I just like this separate terminal and obviously the service is a bit better but apart from that it's really no difference
arri just arriving in Gold Coast. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to presenting more videos on the way back and many more trip reports. Thanks so much and thanks for watching. Here are the ratings for this flight. Um, overall service and especially the airport, 10 out of 10, cannot complain. Lounge, um, 6 out of 10, definitely can have some improvements. And onboard experience, um, look honestly, the in-flight service was atrocious. And as you may know, other airlines, for example, recently Rex has collapsed uh, with the 737 domestic, but they're offering similar and probably even more um, treats and offerings uh, based on what Qantas is offering. And it's really embarrassing that a premium airline is charging such uh, rates and offering such little service. So service one out of 10. And uh, overall flight, uh, the flight was pretty smooth, um, landing was good, uh, so cannot complain, 9 out of 10. Overall rating, uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Is Qantas worth it in terms of um, money and um, getting a premium experience? Probably not, just stick to the cheap airlines and save money. Thanks for watching.